that. All right. Fuck off. It's like she sucks. But anyway, let's uh, take two. But yeah, they they just kept trying to dishearten us, and then it didn't work. So yeah, here's Sylvia's like, damn, Sacrifice didn't understand. We couldn't get her to join us, and it sucks. Uh, but Zero uh, has a theory to explain how uh, the p oh yeah, and their planet is Esteran. And it was the third planet in their solar system. It, like it's it's a parallel Earth. But yeah, he explains how the perfected parallel Earth society uh, gave rise to the eventual uh, envoys. Thinking back to his uh, uh, collective subconscious thing that his dad did. Yeah, it's been established that Shinka, perfection apotheosis, uh, entails mingling of thoughts and feelings and like being a big bunch of cool dudes and he thinks that the people of the other earth uh, achieved some kind of state of collective consciousness just that it wasn't stable and uh, instead it re-separated into the four fundamental components of human emotion which is something reminiscent of what Wiseman sought to achieve and also you know the galaxy fleet like there's a lot of people putting collective consciousness and grouping their shit up but basically there has been examples of people getting together in weird ways as there are parallel universes and uh, there's no way to know what kind of people these other Earthers were before they were reborn as jerks but Zero thinks it's almost inevitable that they would become arrogant after their rebirth and uh, to them regular humans are beneath their notice and serious ass if Zero is basing that on his own superhuman powers and strategic ability and then Callan's like you what? and then Zero's like don't worry Callan I've got this and then um, he says he doesn't mind the question, but he redirects it back at Sirius and says, You, uh, royalty and an element, do you feel the same? And then Sirius goes, You got it, dude! <laughs> I also think other people are shit to me a lot of the time. But Zero, given his uh, perspective, he says, A teacher regarding his student or a parent regarding his child would actually recognize that child's immaturity and positioning themselves as a godlike authority. To the child, this may, by turns, come across as unpardonable arrogance. Regardless, no parent has the right to foreclose their child's future, and no one species from any one planet may lay a special exclusive claim to the truth. Uh, even if the envoys achieved coexistence with themselves, they're still far from coexistence with life in the multiverse at large, because they're a bunch of jerks. Yeah, and joy and happiness, there's a whole lot of books for, like, literally a thousand years written on what the difference between joy and happiness is but in this game uh, joy is enjoying things like being like tempty is like playfulness and enjoying things going wow this is fun and happiness is like being content is what uh, they've gone with this thing but yeah it's like yep this sucks these guys are all jerks we gotta figure them out Trier has uh, managed to pinpoint uh, this university's solar system and uh, knows about the laws of uh, physics here and it's strongly connected to all other parallel worlds and uh, all space uh, here seems to act like the heavenly pillar which is a fitting configuration for the world of self-proclaimed overseers of you know everything and from this tries to determine that the dimensional collapse in other universes uh, is actually accelerating a defeat in the Baals wasn't enough to avoid the calamity and likely only the envoys actually know what's actually going on so uh, all the more reason to head to Esteran and get a straight answer from these jokers And this is uh, uh, Advent of uh, yeah, Advent of the False God or Advent of the Devil, but I think Advent of the False God fits better. Yeah, here we are in their yeah, solar system. It's all fucked up and weird. Um, Information Big Wednesday. And here we are. And so here, here it is, and there's the big weird Earth, and it's fucked up. It's the third planet of the solar system, Esteran, yep. And uh, Tri says that this solar system, solar system, actually doesn't have a sun. All the illumination comes from Esteran itself, and its protective barrier. But let's launch our nerds. It's 
It's better up this end, even if it is further away. So here's uh, Ryoma, who's like, hell yeah, let's throw down with uh, Asakim, the envoys, who gives a shit? And then Hyder's like, wait, this is... And look who it is, Hades in the Maikane, Zul and some Gishin, Space Satan and some Army of Darkness. Hades, Zul and Space Satan, all showing up at once. And they're like, yep, uh, foolish Earthlings, we are here to settle the score, the true war with the envoys. And they mostly can't believe that we made it this far, but Noriko's like, oh yeah, you guys are garbage, and now our strength's equal to yours, that pff, idiot, how do you even fucking get it? But these guys' alliance basically is based on... They recognize each other's powers as well as their common enemy, and since none of them consider us actual higher dimensional beings, they're not even going to give us a temporary ceasefire. And we're like, wow, you guys are as bad as the envoys. You guys are a bunch of shithead jerks. Goro tells his dad to quit it. Uh, Takaru uh, thinks that their power stems from the same place and they use the dimensional energy bullshit. And then they laugh and then... Their perfection, the apotheosis thing is bullshit. And then they offer uh, the reactors around Crow and Setsuko a place to their side. But then Crow says, I mean, I don't presume to speak for all of us, but there ain't enough money in the universe to make that happen. And tries like, yep. When he says that, that it means it. And then someone's like, Frickin' idiots, what are you doing? And then Gura's like, Father, you, space, you're doing it wrong. Oh, what is it, Gura? But basically, the deal is that these guys, they want to rule the universe rather than coexist, and that's not the right way of doing it. And uh, because they want to rule rather than coexist, that means we've got to take them down. Not as gods, but as, or as demons. But just as a bunch of regular bad dudes who suck. And Gura's like, yes, I will take down my bad dad. And then on to Esteran. You've witnessed the power of the gods! And within six turns, you have to take down all three of them in the same turn. And they're jerks. Um, this guy has got his random bullshit power, where he hits random things, I believe. This dude's got his, uh, like, he heals everybody. And this dude teleports around randomly, I think, is what they do. But, like, they, they have their three gimmicks from when we fought them as bosses individually in their trash. Oh yeah, and Asakim is also invincible. He regenerates super fast now because he's the... the, the king of... warbs. And he basically just showed up to fight us, didn't even go all out, just to show us how futile it was, and then he went away and he looks forward to beating us up later, if we get that far. Bio Sensor, a Psycho Frame, Zero System, NDD. Bullshit. Name the power to the dream. Power to the dream. Except. Try again. 
突撃ラブハート I want to say the, the jerk people, apparently 12,000 years ago they kicked Advent out for some reason. And、uh, they were like, oh yeah, no, we all agreed that that was for the best. It was just a mutual, mutual satisfaction of all that we kicked you out. But it's time for you to come back. And you're like, alright. Is there a good decision? I don't know about that, because him getting kicked out meant he got to do all the shit he's done. So I don't, I don't know about that. I think it would have been better if they kept him on a short lease instead. Or, you know, put him in a prison like they did Sacrify. But no, they decided that this was the, the right way. Space there and fucking calm down. So I don't see shit of him. Oh no, like I don't think they have the same implicit trust thing all the time because I think like, they all have that, they all have the reverence aura. That's not an advent thing, that's a, all of those guys' thing. We're into the DNA of every living creature throughout the multiverse. Is to listen to these jokers. This guy's ace bonus is. Uh, oh, uh, everyone gets minus three. Will, f a n g it, there's three existing at the start of every turn for that guy.、Uh, he does an extra 20% damage. r u n above the Will Juice because he's hot headed. And this dude、um, casts Confuse when he gets below 20% hit points. Very wacky. Speed boost. Gora. Doesn't say shit to his fucking dad. He doesn't say shit to his dad. He has Zet chips for doing it, but nothing. Alright, sure. Yeah, all the OG robots are really cool and good. Because they don't have to pay licensing, all the animations are really good because they have loads of money left over for animations and music instead. So it's all really fucking good. So we fight this dude. Like, now witness、uh, the power of us high dimensional dudes. Okay, yeah, so. Hades is a heal. Dimensional power, yes, those guys can do that.
Oh, he casts Invincible or Flash then. Yeah, then the three of them does a barrier field, so yeah, it's a barrier that makes them take no damage. And then witness the power of the black hole. Yeah, and he teleports the three of them around. Yeah, so it's... Invincible, like, I think it's Invincible, but we'll have to have a look and see. Hey, right, dang it, the three of them are all doing this mission. Like, That's right, humans, witness the power of the gods! Yeah, Hades uh, repairs the damage, it all uh, nullifies damage to one attack, and Space Satan teleports them around. Damn, and they can do it once a turn, that sucks. Once every minute. Yeah, so invincible. So they all get invincible cast on them, which takes damage down to like 12.5% or whatever. 1 8. But if Moon Dwellers is your first venture to the OG verse, then holy moly, have I got a second OGs for you? It was time to clear the station. Nah. Because there's Mike and A, and they're never in teams, it's impossible. Too many single units around. Like, Moon Dwellers doesn't even have Mio in! Doesn't have Mio, it doesn't have... Uh, With her dog orbs? Second of Jeans is, in my opinion, the best Super Robot Wars game. Cause it's so fucking good. Yeah, uh, Koryuo. Koryuo and uh, with his uh, random spike. 
and he transforms into Ryu Koal. So he's either the Tiger Dragon King or the Dragon Tiger King. He's fucking rad. I can't believe this dude was such a low level that he's managing to level up from all of this shit constantly over and over again forever. Okay, that's it though. They're done. They're done. Human, why are you trying so hard? The Buster Tomahawk. I mean, Kazumi comes back, it's the double Buster Tomahawk. If I had someone open up the other shoulder bit. She gets the cape, the double Tomahawk, someone to work the shit in the legs. I'm Simon the Digger. It's on my ass. Giga Doriru! Uraiku! Tsunanuka! I also have the full line by line translation for second energies, because that guy did it. Four years. Because it turns out there's a lot of fucking text in that video game. That small lady is a small lady. No, no. Well, that's the machine number seven, but it's no, no. It's 
fucking dude. Pile of shit. What, Johnny? Thanks. God, Sekinoji is so good. I'm just thinking about all of the shit that happens at Sekinoji. It's so fucking good. It's got everybody in it. Things with dwellers improves over Sekinoji's. You can put another fucker in Ings thing. It's in English. Uh, Calvina. It's pretty much it. The eternity of darkness. Get sucked in. Oh shit! He hit K with a twelve percent. Sent us to get fucking reformatted by Unicron. Oh, yeah, now these guys just can't do anything, they're fucked. Tio is fucking perfect as his name suggests. Yeah, it does have Harkin. And I deliberately didn't count getting Axel and um, Alfimi um, really early because you also don't get Zengar for a really long time and you have to do shit with Koya. Oh, and Devil D Devil Day, he's also really good. But... He's no Mio, Tutti, Hulan Shao. There's no, uh, uh, the privilege of the Gaia Sabers. Come on, just casually avoiding that shit, not giving much of a hoop. I do actually look like I do actually have to kill those guys though. Yeah, you could know you could have fight skill of full reverse.
Yeah, it, like it's got Jamu, but Second OG's has got um, the really sleepy guy. <laughs> We just died. No, well, guess I'll have to use the laser gun. And there's no literally Naruto as a bad dude. Fucking Ignis. Yeah, that is definitely one of Bless's Bless's 2000 Secrets of the Underworld. Full reverse. Stupid Horus. Stupid Horus. Noriko, this is the kind of guy he patterned that way. Yeah, but then, more and more, he's going to get hurt. With with Spider Lady. Ignis, Aquila, the three dogs. Yeah, Naruto, lizard, spider lady, a big black guy. <laughs> fucking, fucking dude. Impossible! Fuck. But <laughs> the black hole calls all! Oh, then he drained a little bit of energy. This good. This good. Okay, look. Luca's got his shield up. It's fine. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Prepare yourself. Okay, yeah, no. People do have lines, they just don't want to talk to him yet, apparently. It's not in the mood. Jokers up. <laughs> Fucking okay. You got a help. Come on. 
found it. Yeah, the magically photoshopped fake news is incredible. And all, all of it is so... All of Second Energy is, is like top tier Super Robot Wars bullshit. Okay to get murdered is the thing. But you know what? We could do is cheap confuse. You don't want to not do that. Similar you will do that. Then do that with a bit less damage. And the SR point has been six turns to defeat all of these dudes on the same turn, and that's fucking rough, but it's doable, certainly. And the shitty frog Tetsuguo Where his fucking name is The shitty frog The horned toad Hate that guy It's okay I'm gonna make the Mara look at all a second though, geez. Feels she look peep it for long. It's got Yuki drinking tea. Love it when Yuki drinks the tea. <laughs> the infinite darkness. Stab me in the dick with a sword. Thanks, Mr. Black Hole in a helmet and cape. Yeah, like, like you got to remember that Boon Dwellers is... One, two, three, uh, It's the fifth part? The fifth part? <laughs> Weird ass fat for it, you know? Yeah, do it, do it, Love that dude. <laughs> that fucking dude's real shit. He's beautiful. Cable of infinite magic. Can't do shit though. <laughs> never, like, just actually straight up never gets anything right, ever. Constantly fucks it. Devil dude. Devil de devil dude. That weird space amoeba dude. The amoeba yaro. You refuse to pronounce it as the other day. It's devil de devil day. It's really easy. Devil de devil day. And it's good when. Um, Kota calls him Debu dude because Debu is fat, so you just call him fat guy. And then Debu Debu is like, no, I'm not fat guy. Debu Debu Day, piece of shit.
<laughs> Skull Knight should have like a video with badass and you wrecked him. Yeah, that's Skull Knight. That's fucking Skull Knight. <laughs> And he's got his shit country bumpkin accent. And he's like, um. He has the same voice actor as Rai. For an example of that dude's range. Rai voices like 12 dudes every Super Robot Wars game. He's nuts. And crash up. They pay for top voices then? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Like in um, Z1, I think he straight up voices ten guys. Like it's cr like it's not like that dude just voices fucking everybody and he's incredible. But yeah, we beat these guys up. And like, you guys are achieving fish. is like, wait, what are you doing? Why are you opposing us? And they yell at us how we're garbage. And we're like, no, we can still beat them. They're like, no, you can't beat us because you have yet to cut loose the darkness within you. And that shall be your undoing. So now we all feel really shitty. And his, um, Capo's like, sorry, sorry guy, I couldn't save you, I'm sorry. And his Watu's like, dad, no, don't, I'm... And Choro feeling bad about his dad being dead, his, uh, Kiriko feeling bad about all of his dudes that died, part of his team that he's murdered and done his... K, sorry, Tina and Mimsy, guess I ain't coming back. Here's Camille, who's like, wait, Jared, I'm, no! I'm right feeling sorry about Lala. Shah, about Artesia. Hero, just feeling bad about it. He's murdered lots of people. Setsu's like, but such a being. I. Gary, feeling bad. He's like, don't leave Tifa. Lauren, feeling sorry about Lady Diana. Shin, feeling bad about his mother and his sister. And his parents and his old parents and his sister. And. Play and. The other one. Audrey! Eat you a zombie! <laughs> and then Papa, Smith, Kimiko, Young, and so Norka, thinking about everybody. Like, like, no, no, I'm, don't go! <laughs> it was like, hey! Listen to my song! Alto, worried about his wings. Ryama feeling bad about Michiru. Koji just feeling generally bad. Akagi wanting to save everybody. Roger, his memories. Banjo, the sun. Sasuke about Chittery and Sophia and don't let her come back and Apollo thinking about Baron, his buddy Amada thinking about his parents Aoi who's like, damn, I'm all alone in this cupboard again Shinji, he just, he just feels shitty, alright Lush fucking crying about um, Shirley, Yuffie and Rollo I'm, I'm Chief Toby She's not his girlfriend! She's not his girlfriend, she's his babysitter! <laughs> and feeling bad, Crow, feeling bad about that. And Zeus is like, what have you done? And these guys um, explain that the humans always bear with us the power that seeks obliteration. And they, in short, uh, are prisoners ever of the power of the dark. Like, we're just, we're garbage because we have bad feelings sometimes. But not Hibiki, because Hibiki's power, she could be both. No, she can't be both! That'd be really fucked up if Haken wanted to fuck his, the closest thing he's got to her mother. That'd be really fucked up. Uh, yeah, but Hibiki's power is like, nah, I've overcome that bullshit, like, several times. He's like, nah, we've done this and overcome- What? He's like, 
like, this man, how? Why are you not done? He's like, we've done this like five times. It's not a problem. We've overcome this shit all the time. I'm really sick of it. And Mars is like, yeah, actually, fuck off. We've overcome the darkness in our hearts and accepted it loads of times. Mars. He says, my brother's within me and he's dark and darkness isn't actually bad. All that stuff in our past is what made us what we are today. Maybe you heard the phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? And so everyone's like, yeah, actually, this is stupid. So, so we all get extremely rowdy. And everyone's like, nice work, Mars. Yeah, thanks, Takaru, you really did it. Mars inside you, tax Takaru's power. Hell yeah, love that dude. And then Hippica's like, but I... And then everyone's like, hey, don't worry. You're just back to even now after um, we were the ones who helped you surpass hope and despair in the first place. I'm like, I guess. <laughs> nice work, Gibby. Keep, keep on doing it. But Susan A's like, nice work, dude. You did it. And uh, she knows when to use carrots versus sticks. Yeah, like here she says, she knows when to use like, it's fine. I know when to use the carrot and the stick on him. And then Bender's like, yep, that's why she's the kid's partner. For the quarreling twins. Ideal. And then Hibiki's thinking about this formless form and infinite finiteness is all very Jeet Kune Do. And it was like, thanks dad for paving my way towards uh, the ultimate, Taiji. And Simon's like, alright everybody, let's fucking go. And then, yeah, let's go Simon. Hell yeah, let's go bro. Let's go, the, yeah, combine Dayaka. Alright. Super Galaxy going again, ready. We ain't done yet though. Wing Tengen Toppa. Then see, bro, this is the Tengen Toppa Gurren Lagan. And he's like, hell yeah, it is, dude. I'm here now, by the way. It, that's finally showed up. Kamina, what the hell? The he's like, what? You think it's input? Like, like I'm the impossible dude. I'm immortal as long as I live in Simon's heart. And Lord Gino's like, yeah, I guess that, you know, he's materialized from Simon's thoughts. He's like, yeah, I can only, really, like, exist inside the Tengen Topper Gurren Lagan, but, you know, he's back. He's alive. Sort of. It's like, yo, Anakin's back. <laughs> Howdy. I'm Simon's wife there. How? Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm Simon's big bro. Like, he's the invincible god counter, the Gurren leader. Counter's back at it again. And then these guys are like, what the heck? The, how do how do humans do this? This is bu bullshit. And then Carmen is just like, hey, dude, it's good, it's fine, don't worry. We draw powers from the souls of the dead, and they're like, but only we can do that. We're like, hey, wait a minute, who's ruled by the dark here anyway? Maybe it's you guys who are trash and slaves to evil. You thought about that? And then Zeus uh, says um, that they are in fact still living beings. And being a uh, living according to the law would dare to turn the power seeking obliteration to strength. And that's why they can't have nice things. So we're gonna beat the shit out of them. <laughs> it happened last game. No, Kamala didn't show up for real last time. That was all just like in his head. This time he's actually here as a weird little ghost. Like, that's, like, it didn't happen last game. Last game was part of Simon's dream. Like, his nightmare world. There we go. He's good, uh. Well, I guess he doesn't have to do it right then. Yeah, here we go. Come, Gura. How long's more?